The Pittsburgh RV show rolls into town this weekend and this morning. One of those RVs that's going to be featured is parked just outside our studio. And that's where we find Selena Pompiani inside one of the featured RVs. Selena. Hey, Lisa, the RV show is certainly rolling into town this weekend, starting on January 19th at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center, where it will be transformed into nine acres of RV paradise. And right now, I am sitting in this gorgeous 2019 R Pod 171 camper, and this will actually be available for you to win. You could register to win this one. You'll also be able to check it out at the RV show, which, like I mentioned, starts this weekend. So for all of the details about what you can expect this weekend into next week. I want to introduce Rob Young. He has been producing the show for over 13 years. The show has been in Pittsburgh for over 50 years. Thanks for joining us on PTL, Rob. How excited are you to get things uh, rolling this weekend? It's great to be back again. We're going to have to make this, well, it's already become a tradition camping in the KDKA parking lot in January, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's fun to be here, and we're excited to get the show rolling again. Yeah, so tell us first about the camper that we are in right now. Okay, this is a 17-foot uh, travel trailer. It's um, fully self-contained. It's got a shower and uh, cooking uh, all the appliances that you need, a convection microwave. It's got a 26-inch flat-screen TV. The best thing about it is it only weighs about 3,000 pounds, so you can tow it with a small SUV, a larger car, makes it really easy to travel around with. It's it's only about seven feet wide, so it's easy to see around and easy to maneuver. So it's a great trailer for people that are just maybe starting in the RV lifestyle to get accustomed to things and get used to, to, to how to you know, get it parked and get situated. So yeah, it's a great unit. Yeah, it's really great. We're zooming in on the bed now. When I first walked in, I jumped in on the bed. It was really comfortable. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's a double bed. It's um, already set to go just when you're ready to hit the sack just pop right in and there you go it's got that and it's got a full dinette table for eating your meals and this unit also comes with a, a an awning and a screen room so if you need the, a little bit more room you can go outside and enjoy the ex the outside as well it's perfect and you could register to win this at pitrvshow.com. You could also see it at the convention center for the RV show starting this weekend. So what else do you have to offer other than, you know, your typical RV? What other things can we expect to see there this weekend? Well, visitors can come to the show and visit with uh, our local campgrounds, even some campgrounds that are further away, like from New Jersey and South Carolina. Uh, they can talk with bank reps about financing. If you're looking to purchase an RV, there are many ways and easy ways to finance it. They can talk with insurance companies. We have a parts store this year. A lot of folks have asked in the past, you know, to how about bring in some accessories and parts that we can look at for our RV that we already have. So we've got a great uh, setup with uh, accessories and things that people can purchase right on site. Mm -hmm. So lots of things to do. Yeah, and it's pretty popular. People like to travel with this. I know you said you take your family to Hilton Head every year. Uh, why is it becoming such a popular trend, even with young folks? Well, they are. The young folks are getting into it. Uh, they maybe did it as a, as a kid with their parents, and they want to enjoy that experience again. So they're getting into uh, the vans, uh, converting vans into campers and traveling. All A lot of folks now can work away from home getting on the internet so they're out there enjoying the country and still making a living at it so yes it's becoming very popular now what's the typical price range that you'll see from what you are will be bringing to the show we've got units uh like this one here this one's a Base price is about fourteen thousand. You'll probably find some a little less expensive than that, maybe around ten. And then you can get up into half a million dollars for a Class mm -hmm. A diesel motorhome with everything in it, including a fireplace. Wow, that sounds good to me. I'll take the one with the fireplace. <laughs> but this one is especially really cool because it's beautiful. It has so many great features. Plus, you could register to win this one, which is really awesome. Um, so it starts this weekend. What time will it open on Saturday? We open at 10 o'clock on Saturday, so Saturday's hours are 10 to 9, Monday 10 to 5. Uh, Monday is the holiday, so we're going to be open early on Monday at 10 o'clock again through the week. It's open till 9 as well, so come on out and see us. 
Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I know a lot of people will be heading to the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. Again, it starts this weekend, guys. It will last until the 27th for all of the information, including on when the times that they open, how long they stay open for, the pricing. You could check all of those details out right on our website, kdka.com slash PTL. Lisa, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio because I think I'm going to take a little nap on the bed in this beautiful camper. It was super comfortable. <laughs> I bet so, Selena. It looks like a lot of fun. Thanks so much. I know a lot of people will be heading to that RV show.